I wasn't planning on making this video, but I decided to after watching a video today and there was just a few things that were left out in it and I just wanted to follow up and add that back in. So this is all about downgrading your Fujifilm firmware in your camera. It's a risky thing to try to do, but the other day I was browsing a Reddit forum and they were talking about how somebody had downgraded the firmware on their X-T5. And I've updated my firmware to the latest one on my X-T5 and I have had some autofocusing issues, uh, especially on a trip that I took about six weeks ago. I definitely noticed it. And I was already on the new version and I've been waiting for Fuji to release uh, an update and nothing has come so far. Somebody had managed to edit the firmware file and change the version number in it with a hex editor. And they've got it so where it would trick the camera into letting it update to this, uh, an earlier version of the firmware, although the camera thinks at the time it's doing it that it's a later version of the firmware. So basically they updated it to say 302 instead of uh, the 101 that it actually was. And you download the edited firmware file from a uh, Google Drive uh, folder that the author had put up there. So he successfully edited it, tested it, and a couple of other people in the forum there mentioned that they had tried it and it worked. So I was intrigued and I thought, okay, I'm going to try this. So I did. And the one caveat with this is it resets your camera to factory settings. So all of your customizations, all of the changes that you made are gone. There isn't any way to restore them or do anything other than have to manually add them all back on your own. So that means all of the custom settings you've done, C1, C2, C3, everything has to be redone. So I would advise you don't do this and just wait for the official Fujifilm update. But if you can't and you have a need and your camera isn't you want to roll back to a previous version when things were working better for however you're using your camera, then you could do this. But it is risky. You could brick your camera. You could have to send it in for repairs. It could void your warranty. There's lots of issues doing this. So I would not recommend it. I tried it because I wanted to see if it would actually work, and it did with that caveat that I've lost all of my settings and I have to set it back up again. So when you go on the Reddit form, you're going to get a uh, there'll be a folder list here and it has all of these previous versions of the firmware for the X-T5 all the way back to version 1.01. So what they did was they edited the 1.01 and put in 3.02 in there. There's two places in there. One is where it displays it on the camera what version it is and the other is another space where the firmware checks when you try to update to see if it is a greater number and then allows the firmware update. So they just edited that one. So they took version 1.01, set it to be 3.02, you download it, put it on your SD card, and you put it in your camera and you update your firmware with the SD card. The one issue with that was is they didn't mention that you have to rename the file. I did. The edited file actually has a very long name. It's, you know, Fujifilm F, it says FWUP0030 space V1.01 as V.3.02.dat. Well, you have to rename that, and I'll put the on the screen what I did. And once I did that, it worked, and it did update the firmware. Of course, I lost all my settings. So at that point, what you do want to do is you want to go to the Fujifilm X app and you want to back up your settings after you've re-entered everything, all of your custom settings, everything on version 1.01. You want to do the backup, back up all your settings then and save that. This way, if you ever have to downgrade again to version 1.01, you can do a restore of all your settings and it'll kind of put you back where you left off here. Then you can update using these other update files to get to the version you want to. So they have a version 
1.10, and that's the one I wanted to go back to, which is the version before this latest Fujifilm version. You've got to rename that file too, so just rename it like this and update your camera. And I can show you that on my camera, I am now on 2.10, and my firmware has been rolled back. So I'll link a video uh, in my description from Edward. He's another um, content creator here on YouTube. He did a video showing the comparison of those two versions for the autofocus issues. And I thought uh, that really demonstrated how much better the earlier version was than the current version. Uh, go watch that video. I don't advise that you actually do this though. Uh, so. I'll put a disclaimer on here just to, to warn everybody. And again, this may stop working with the next Fujifilm update. They may disable the ability to downgrade firmware. They may put something in there that doesn't allow you to do it anymore. So this may just be a very short-term thing that's possible. But as of today, when I recorded this, it is possible to downgrade if you have to in an emergency. So it's a good thing to know. It's a risky thing to try, so uh, make sure your battery's charged and you know this uh, firmware upgrade doesn't fail in any way while it's doing it. Uh, anyway, that's it, and I'll see you in the next one.